Tonight, a CBS 2 original report gets results. You may remember last week we told you about a couple's car towed away, and despite a sheriff's visit, a state's attorney's investigation, and a judge's order, the towing company would not give it back until today. Here's CBS 2's Dana Kozlov. This is a private location. Tow truck company employee Eddie was none too happy to see our camera outside the Blue Island tow lot. Guys, can you guys just leave me alone, please? Okay. We were there when Ellis Douglas, girlfriend Aisha Rankin, and their attorney Phyllis Price got their car back six months after Recovery 360 towed it and then refused to return it despite a judge's order. Oh, they put us through hell not water. Their ordeal began in February when their new parked car was towed without their knowledge two days after being hit. Months passed when sheriff's deputies finally got the judge's order and went with them in May to retrieve it. The car wasn't there. What'd they tell you? Uh, that they moved it to another location. It hadn't been seen since, but days after we told their story, a company rep called Price. You know, he said, listen, we really want to clear the air. We think it's really kind of awful that this has happened. Yet all does not end well. well it looks like the car has been further damaged. And Recovery 360 is in more trouble. The Cook County State's Attorney just slapped it with a contempt petition and consumer fraud lawsuit. The lawsuit states the Illinois Commerce Commission revoked the company's tow license in May. Add that to a court injunction banning this property from being used as a tow lot at all until 2017. There's at least dozens of vehicles that are here, and so it is, it is violating that injunction. Thanks to producer Naima Dancy, by the way. Now, you may ask how Recovery 360 is still operating. No one can give us a clear answer about that. Even attorney Phyllis Price is baffled. The actual owners cited on those court documents could not be located, but they are expected in court later this month. In the newsroom, Dana Kozlov, CBS2 News. Rob. Okay, quite a story there, Dana. Thank you.